Um, I'm John Fellows. I'm the planning administrator with the uh, City of Columbia. And um, we are in the process of um, finishing up Columbia Compass, which is the comprehensive plan for the City of Columbia. Every 10 years we do a complete update of our comprehensive plan for the city. And uh, we've been working on this particular plan for the last year and a half. Uh, we've had uh, a number of public open houses, um, a number of surveys, and a number of other ways of, uh, for people to engage. We are currently finishing up the plan, and we are hoping to involve everyone in the community one more time um, before we take the plan to Planning Commission and City Council. The comprehensive plan covers um, nine elements. Um, they include population and housing, economic development, uh, cultural resources as well as community facilities as well as um, a number of other topics and each of those are go in depth into those areas and they set a number of recommendations um, some fairly specific some more um, general um, that are intended to be allow the city uh, to implement over the next um, five and ten years. As you're probably well aware because so many of you have been participating Columbia Compass is really a process that's built on this important public input that y'all have given us, and we are so grateful for that. What we'll be using this for is as, as, a, as we report back to council to let folks know in council what really stood out to folks. We've got 125 recommendations, that's a lot to take in. So helping them understand what is most important to Columbia citizens is key. You are well aware we have nine elements to the comprehensive plan. These are set forth by state statute, they are depicted on these beautiful elements, or the beautiful icons that we have above us, and each of the stations relates to those this evening. You've, you've done some of the engagement, so we thank you, but we've really been glad to have some great public engagement through this process. Um, we've done it both face-to-face -face in meetings like these, and fo focus groups, and in neighborhood meetings, but we've also had great online engagement, and the number of 5,500 points of engagement does not count the water bill mailers we sent, so maybe y'all opened your water bill one month and saw the little Columbia Compass logo, um, and it doesn't count the social media efforts we've taken on, so we're really excited about that. And just a quick run through of the values and the perceptions, so from those early surveys and the early engagement, none of these should really surprise you, but we did hear a lot both about what folks value and then what your perceptions of Columbia were. Whether those perceptions of Columbia were of the city as a governmental institution or of the community as a whole. People are concerned that we seem disconnected, that maybe we don't stick to our priorities, um, and that we have infrastructure needs. So that was something we heard, not surprisingly, but resoundingly throughout the process. And the meat of each chapter is really the recommendations. So those recommendations are um, followed up by case studies, a lot of the case studies are really there to help us understand what the best practices for those recommendations might be, what other communities have had success in. So we would encourage you to spend your time with those either tonight in the copies that we have here or online. I feel like we are on the cusp of uh, making change. We have the, the time and the power to make the next generation, the next 10, 20, 30 years, completely different and completely better. I really appreciate that they uh have these uh, questionnaires uh, that uh, made it accessible uh, to everybody. I appreciate the open forum style and uh, the voting process. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some of the new folks coming in that they were talking about and, and how we're taking, going to hopefully take advantage of some of the city's strengths and uh, take advantage of the riverfront and other things like this and help make Columbia an exciting place to live. I think they're all important because, I mean, if you live and work here, the whole entire plan of what Columbia is going to look like is really important. I like to think that everybody's voice is important at something like this. That's why we have these uh, forums so that regular citizens like myself can have a voice in what happens. Um, I think it's also really important that people like me show up to events like this so that we can remind City Council and County Council that we um, have opinions and we have ideas about what needs to happen moving forward. And I think it's, it's important for us as responsible voters to know what's happening. If citizens aren't able to attend the public meetings, they can certainly engage with us in other ways. Uh, we actually uh, have a, a website for the project, columbiacompass.org. Um, and um, on that website you can find all of the documents um, that have been um, put out there as uh, drafts for the public to engage in. There's um, information from our previous meetings um, and previous outreaches, summaries of um, the surveys that have been conducted 
um, both in the fall and the spring of last year. Uh, if people would like to engage, they can also engage on social media um, at Facebook and Twitter at uh, Cola Compass.